Okay, today we are going to be talking all things cybersecurity because as tech continues to move at such quick paces, cybersecurity is changing faster than we've ever seen before, which is wild when you really stop and think about it. I mean, every day I feel like I've learned about a new hack or a new something or other going on in the world of cybersecurity that affects us, anyone really, but especially people who work in tech. In this video, we are going to dive into cybersecurity basics and what to expect looking forward to 2025. Now, this is what's really important. It's important to note that you don't have to be a cybersecurity expert or engineer to find the value in cybersecurity, nor should you. I think nowadays it's really our responsibility, regardless of whatever role you are in, to understand some of the key basics and what is going on in the world of cybersecurity. It is an area, the field itself, that is continuing to grow in demand. So if you are interested in that, this video is for you as well. But there's also room for people who maybe don't want a career in cybersecurity, just want to understand what's going on and how as a developer, product manager, whatever the case is, you can better build things by understanding the background of cybersecurity. All right. Let's just jump right into it. Hit the subscribe button for more tech, coding, future tech, AI, all the good stuff. And shout out to some of these subscribers here. Thank you so much for being with me throughout this journey. I, you all mean so much to me. I love, love, love making videos for you. And I just, you know, I'm not supposed to say this, but I have to say the YouTube community might be my favorite one because y'all are just, y'all, I don't know where that came from. You all are amazing. All right, let's dive into it. Before we look ahead as to what is coming with cybersecurity, let's start by taking a look back. This will really help us understand as to where cybersecurity really started gaining traction, why it is so important to now where we are today. I always find that if you are able to understand the history of something, you can better make predictions about where it is headed, what is coming up with it, all of that. So let's start back in the 1990s, early 2000s. This was the prime time, I feel like, to be working in tech. It was the boom, the internet boom. We were just sailing through, walking on gold. Well, I was in diapers, but others were, you know, cruising along, enjoying life. So as the internet became mainstream, cyber threats evolved rapidly. Now, an example of this is the I love you virus where people were getting emails saying I love you. And this was back in 2000 and it affected more than 45 million computers in just 10 days. This, I mean, there was different uh, hacks or cyber threats before this, but it definitely was one that made cybersecurity more mainstream or more put more attention as to, whoa, this, you can't just open whatever you want on that you get through emails or through the internet. There, it, it brought some attention to it. Fast forward to 2010, really brought the era of big data and mobile. I mean, this was the era that we started having technology put right in our back pockets, right? You know, we put our phones in our jeans and the level of cybersecurity threats or cyber threats rapidly increased as we were spending more time online, going to more websites, and in turn, a lot of times more vulnerabilities. Now, an example of this is the Equifax breach that happened in 2017, which affected 107, 147 million people, which is kind of, uh, you know, it sounded so big at the time because it was, but now we just had another breach, which I believe Equifax was affected as well. And I think that was in the billions of people that it, it was affected. So it's constantly ongoing. Fast forward to 2020 to the present day, there were so many different cyber attacks that we have seen, especially during COVID. Get this, in 2021, ransomware attacks occurred every 11 seconds, which is up from every 40 seconds in 2016. 11 seconds, that's wild. I hope the lesson from looking back in history is cybersecurity isn't going anywhere. It's needed now more than ever, and these threats are continuing to increase on the daily. All right, let's look at some cybersecurity trends going into 2025. This is really important, even if you are not someone in cybersecurity, to understand because it affects the way you are building products and thinking about tech in general as a whole. First one is smarter scams. Now, this is no surprise to anyone here. Think it, this is a really interesting way I read about smarter scams, though. So just like Netflix uses AI to recommend movies that are best suited for you, smarter scams will use AI to create more convincing phishing emails and fake websites. Things that now we used to be able to detect scams maybe from the way things were spelled or things were a bit off from what our typical bank would send us, different things like that. Nowadays, you honestly cannot tell the difference. And here's a really interesting data point, because I know all of you or most of you really find data interesting. AI-powered cyber attacks are expected to increase with 20% of all cyber crime expected to involve AI 
by 2025. 20% to involve AI by 2025. I think that number is actually low or will increase very quickly. So what can you do about it? Well, one, always double check your links. Second guess anything. I'm at the point now where before I open a link, I will literally reach out to the person that I know is sending it to make sure their email wasn't hacked. Next up is privacy concerns. This is a trend that will continue in 2025, unfortunately. With more of our lives online, protecting your personal data will become crucial, even more so than it already is. Now here's a really interesting data point on that. By 2025, 75% of the world's population will have their personal data protected under modern privacy regulations. I mean, we think about all the different regulations we have now, but it doesn't stop hackers from gaining access to it oftentimes. Okay, the number three trend for cybersecurity I found very interesting, which is passwordless login. And I, I want your take on this because this is something I flip flop on. So what does this mean? We might use fingerprints, uh, face recognition, or hardware instead of traditional passwords. We see this happening more and more, especially from the hardware aspect of it, using different type of hardware keys to log in or facial recognition to log into different websites. I've been seeing a lot of that on even different apps now to use, not just unlocking your iPhone. And I really think it's interesting, but I'm curious to get your take on it. How willing are you to give away your bio data? Does it matter? I don't have an answer for that. I used to think it really mattered. Now it's so convenient to give it away that maybe it matters, but convenience trumps it. I don't know, what do you think? That's a very, very big question, but I'm really curious to get your take. Leave in the comments. I'll make sure to respond to every comment. Number four is something that I've recently been seeing more and more of, which is cyber insurance. So this is just like car insurance, house insurance, anything like that. There will now become cyber insurance, which really is for people who spend a lot of time online, uh, work online, make money online. There needs to be insurance for these individuals. And here's a wild data point on how much cyber insurance is growing. So the cyber insurance market is expected to reach 20 billion by 2025, 20 billion. And back in 2020, it was only at 7 billion. It is growing. I mean, 7 billion in 2020, then fast forward five years, it's grown 13 billion in five years. That's wild. So you get the point. There are quite a few trends that are happening. And I know it might seem kind of scary or worrisome. Oh, wow, the cybersecurity threats are continuing to increase. But the main thing is you are aware of these trends. And the opposite perspective is not opposite, but the other perspective is you are working in tech and you know these trends. So how can you best apply them to your company to make you even stand out? Hey, I know these trends are happening. How can I better the company or product with this understanding? All right, for those of you looking to get into cybersecurity, there are so many different areas. Now listen, I am not a cybersecurity expert. I just understand the importance of being up to date with cybersecurity, where it is headed and how it can impact me my role, my day to day really. Now, for those of you looking to become cybersecurity experts, first of all, thank you. Second of all, here are some high level skills that you should start researching, some different courses that you should start researching aligned with these skills. The first one is technical skills. There are things such as networking security, operating systems, of course, programming in some cases, and cloud security. Now, if you are looking more on the analytical side, that would involve things such as threat analysis, incident response, and forensics, which is kind of cool that that would actually be a really cool job more on the analysis side of things we don't hear that one talked about as much soft skills of course are important as well and also if you're thinking how do I get into cybersecurity I would start with certifications there are so many different great ones I think Coursera has a lot of really great ones uh, recommended by or done by IBM and a few other companies that I would highly suggest checking out Start with the basics, work your way up, and as always, make sure to network and reach out to other cybersecurity experts. We need more people in cybersecurity. That's why I thought this was so important to make a video on it. Learning more about the trends looking into 2025. I was doing research on trends for 2025 in cybersecurity. I thought, you know what? I'm gonna share my research with you. And I'm very glad we did. All right, leave in the comments what other topics you want me to see. I'm gonna leave uh, a voting poll down below as well, where you can vote on the next video you would like me to make. and. That wasn't very graceful, but we'll see you in the next, I will, we, who's we? There's no one else here. I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.